Your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. It's 515 here on this Wednesday morning and we're quiet for now. We're kind of in between storm systems, but we are starting to see a stronger north wind in place and that is going to make it feel colder today and it's going to start to cause some issues, especially later on tonight when we get that snow to start falling. This is a look out of our Holton camera. We've got some clouds moving in overhead and that's helping to keep our temperatures just a touch warmer than they could be with that north wind in here. 40 degrees currently in Topeka, but our winds out of the north and west at 14 miles per hour, making it feel like we're at 32 degrees. So we do have that wind chill and we're going to have a wind chill issue not only through this evening, but through the daytime tomorrow too, as our winds are going to continue to pick up in strength today. Now temperatures to start with, we've got low to mid 30s for the most part, but some of us are hanging on to the upper 30s to low 40s around Topeka and Lawrence, down to 32 now in Burlington, 33 in Emporia, 37 in Hiawatha and Manhattan and sitting at 35 at Concordia. We really won't see too much of an increase in temperatures today, except for our southeastern counties. If we get a little bit more sunshine through the first part of the day, we may be ending up somewhere in the mid 40s. If you live north of I-70, probably stuck in the mid 30s today, dropping back into the low 20s tonight, and it's going to be a struggle to warm up into the low 30s tomorrow. It's going to be a pretty cold day, uh, feeling frigid with our winds continuing out of the north and with that snow that we're going to see later on tonight and into early tomorrow. Current wind speeds about 5 to 20 miles per hour, just kind of, kind of depends on where you're at this morning. Stronger winds up to the north, a little bit less to the south, but these winds are going to be blowing in that direction. So we're all going to see all of our winds increasing later on today, especially into the night tonight where we could see some wind gusts later on, potentially in that 30, 35 mile per hour range later on tonight, right when we're seeing that storm with the snow moving through. So peak storm here, we're looking at the strongest winds and that's going to create some pretty hazardous driving conditions late tonight into very early tomorrow morning. Wind chills, we've got teens to 20s where we're starting off here this morning. Probably at best today, feeling like we're in the low to mid 30s. It's going to feel pretty cold in our northern counties, I think, if these clouds are a little bit stubborn today. Dropping back to feeling like we're in the single digits and teens overnight tonight and early tomorrow and trying to feel like we're in the 20s by the time we get to Thursday afternoon. So cold day coming up for tomorrow for sure. We do have those clouds increasing today ahead of that storm system, the one from yesterday up towards the Great Lakes now. And this is the one we're watching for tonight as that starts to move off to the east. We'll see our clouds increasing and our snow chances too. So if you Future track starts this morning, partly to mostly cloudy skies today by about four o'clock. We should start to see some snow showers coming into our western counties. We could get some moderate to heavy snow bands setting up in our northwestern counties as well. Maybe starting off as a rain snow mix in our far southeastern counties, but snow overspreads the area overnight tonight as our temperatures continue to fall. Does start to come to an end by about six or seven o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, maybe just some light snow showers or flurries through about lunchtime or so, and then we clear the clouds out. Now, despite this ending early tomorrow morning, we're still going to be dealing with the wind. So we're going to be dealing with that blowing snow for a while tomorrow, especially in the morning hours. We're expecting maybe one of those heavier snow bands to set up in our far northern and western counties. So not out of the question to see some higher snowfall totals anywhere between about five and eight inches. But if we see that, we're going to see the rest of our numbers dropping off sharply. So no matter what snow total you're seeing here, all of us are going to be dealing with the wind. It's going to be really hard uh, to measure this stuff as well. So we've got the blowing, drifting, reduced visibilities could have near blizzard conditions for a few hours there leading up into sunrise on Thursday morning. So please use extreme caution if you have to travel overnight tonight into early Thursday. Best if you just stay home. We do start to warm things up really quickly though with temperatures climbing up into the mid to upper 50s by the weekend. Stay with us. We'll be right back.